Now, in a day, let me just say this, in a day and a time when there is much being called prophecy, there's much being called revelation, there's much being called uh, this is what's going on, we have to know what is a true revelation and what is not. Amen. Amen. Because you carry within you a mystery. And that's what we've been talking about. But simultaneously, the enemy is trying to do an agenda behind the scenes yes. to try to cause people to be distracted from the genuine into the counterfeit. Amen. And that's why we needed to cover this tonight, because, because what you're hearing on the news, what you're hearing in the media, what you're hearing all over the place is a lot of voices, mm -hmm. yes. but they are actually helping the enemy by bringing confusion and distraction mm -hmm. so that we won't hear the mystery. Okay? So that kind of sets the, the tone a little bit. So people want to start with a manifestation. They want to start with, hey, this is going on, this is going on, this is going on, this is going on, therefore this must be. And God says, no. No, you don't look at this, 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 and this to decide what's going on. You look in here. Oh, come on, somebody. Because I'm talking to you in here. And it may not even look or sound like anything that's going on. Why? Because you're going to be the agent of change that will bring a renovation. So we need insight. Point number one. A manifestation. You can see with your eyes is not a revelation. A manifestation you can see with your eyes is not a revelation. And I see people calling all these things they're viewing and saying, well, what a revelation. Oh, oh, yeah. Or how prophetic. If you can see it with your eyes, it's not a revelation. What does that mean? The revelation defined is to take off the cover, to unveil, to, I like this, discover. <laughs> that people can recover their destiny and purpose in God. What is the biggest thing? Where'd that voice come from? Why that? What is? What is this thing? <laughs> what is it with people right now? They're talking about everything under the sun except their God-ordained purpose. Well, we had to put that purpose on hold for the virus. We had to put that purpose on hold. Yeah, I say that too. Boo. I say, poo. <laughs> we had to put that purpose on hold because of the economy. We had to put that purpose on hold because of the election. Hold on a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is when your purpose is needed. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Amen. And God says, I don't react to anything. <laughs> I put something in you that is a mystery to be revealed through you. And so I want it to be revealed no matter what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It can look like the worst time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, I know it's not about material things, but how do you know if God told you to buy a house, you ought to buy a house? Mm -hmm. And what if he gave you the money? <laughs> what if you didn't have to get a mortgage? Yeah. Well, uh, no, I, Dr. Rick, I don't think you understand the economy we're in right now. <laughs> well, I'm not in that economy. Hallelujah. I have an economy called the kingdom. <laughs> Amen, the kingdom. <laughs> there go with the voice again. Okay. So we need some insight. Insight. Revelation. To take off the cover. To unveil. To discover that people can recover their destiny and purpose in God to show forth light or to make known. The most ridiculous thing that can sound like you can say right now is the best is yet to come. But guess what? The best is yet to come. 
So true revelation has a due time on it. We don't say everything we know. So let's look at this. A vision. How many of you know people who talk about vision? Mm -hmm. A vision is not a revelation. You know, uh, help me, Lord. I'm really getting too involved. In, I'm, I'm kind of letting you know my pet peeves tonight as well. <laughs> people who are always talking about what they what they saw in a vision. And it's always way out there. But then you ask them, what do you think that means? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> then why did you share it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, Let's be gone. We are thinking that you can tell them. <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what I have to say most of the time? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a vision is not a revelation. But it is the content revealed in the vision. A vision is not a revelation. But a revelation is the content revealed in a vision. So a mystery will always be full of content. It's not an empty just, I saw this. Mm -hmm. How many believe it's time for us to grow up? Yeah. 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 And stop trying to impress everybody. Yeah. I had a vision. I had a dream. Well, maybe you did. But until you know what it means, why don't you keep it to yourself? Yeah. I told you it's one of my pet peeves tonight. <laughs> a revelation is processed. How is a revelation processed? By seeking. First, God's kingdom and his righteousness. So a revelation cannot even fully be understood until you're seeking God's kingdom. Otherwise, you're going to have it say whatever you want it to say. Oh, my God. Twisted. <laughs> wow. And actually, that becomes iniquity. A lot of people saying God said stuff he never said. That's called iniquity. We're going to find out why. A revelation is processed by seeking first God's kingdom. Ephesians 1.17 and verse, uh, starting with verse 17 and going to verse 20. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of what? Glory. Glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation where in the knowledge of him for what purpose that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance is in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to the working of his mighty power and I put in parentheses in us it's all happening in us. Amen. Amen. So, most of our prayers should not be, God, explain to me what's going on out here. Most of our prayers should be, God, explain to me what's going on in here. Amen. Because he wants to give unto us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So we acknowledge him so that the eyes of our understanding can be enlightened. We need to know. You know, the old saying, God moves in mysterious ways as wonders through perform. Well, he's made the mystery known now. <laughs> Amen. To the church, the manifold wisdom of God. So is anybody growing in the room? Amen. <laughs> So let's look at iniquity for a minute. Again, we're talking about the difference between revealed kingdom mysteries as opposed to exposing mysteries of iniquity. Write this down in your notes. The mystery of the kingdom involved conception. The 
The mysteries of the kingdom involve conception. But the mysteries of iniquity involve deception. The mysteries of iniquity involve deception. The enemy is not going to come up to you and say, hello there, I'm the devil, I am now going to deceive you. <laughs> but he works <laughs> trying to manipulate our thinking. So iniquity functions by outward signs while hiding behind hidden agendas. I want to say that again. Iniquity functions by outward signs while hiding behind hidden agendas. Just because the sign looks good does not mean the agenda is right. Amen. So Matthew 16, 4 says, A wicked and adulterous generation seeks after an outward sign. And there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And then I, I think it's interesting, he says, it just says he left them. <laughs> wow. He walked away and departed. In other words, I will not be taking questions today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, how many believe that was a mouthful of what he said? Yes. Mm -hmm. They're standing there with their mouth open. <laughs> A wicked and adulterous generation seeks after an outward sign, but there shall be no sign given unto it but the sign of the prophet jo Jonas. And that was a whale of a sign. Would you all agree? <laughs> and then it just says he left them. He just, what? <laughs> he just walked off. Nothing left to say. He dropped the mic. <laughs> The word wicked in the Greek is panera, uh, paneros, not panera. Uh, <laughs> of course, you know it means twisted, right? Wicked means twisted. But I thought this was interesting, full of burdensome labor. You may be carrying some iniquity or wickedness, not because you're wicked, but because it's gotten on you somehow, and it's become burdensome labor. You find yourself, when you're trying to go to sleep, it's on your mind. You wake up, it's on your mind. Trying to figure it out, you can't. It's like endless mind, you can't stop your mind from working. That's, that's wickedness in operation. It's not saying you're wicked. It's no. saying that something that's wicked yeah. is yes. trying yeah. to come against your mind. Yeah. Generally yeah. speaking, that kind of attack is because you're on the verge of a revealed mystery. Undone. Undone. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's like this entire paper is about our life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is insane. Amen. Everything Amen. that we have talked about Even today. Even down to the part where I said... I feel like God told me to shut up and grow up. <laughs> <laughs> and there were mysteries and shut up. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so, so I, I thought that was an interesting, and that's out of the Greek. It's, it's the definition, full of burdensome labor. What are we laboring with that we don't even need to? Oh. Yeah. Wow. What if that what if will never be a what if? Mm. You know, in yeah. fact, most of our what ifs never will. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> know that makes me think of uh, you know when we when we talk about health and wellness and you know she and I have been involved in a lot of those type of things but one of the things that I learned through um, accompanying that was was talking about reducing stress mm -hmm. reducing stress that that the mind when it's stressed and it's thinking and it's thinking this is gonna happen or whatever, what if this happens you know the mind the, the body doesn't know mm -hmm that the mind is just thinking that this is not happening. Yeah. The, you know, the body, but the body responds to it, what the mind is thinking about as if it was already done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then the body stresses out so bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the organs, everything, uh, your heart, your, you know, adrenals, every, everything gets involved 
because I see it has already happened. Mm -hmm. And you, you're just, just thinking it. It's not, it has mm -hmm. happened. Right. So that kind of stress is burdensome. Yeah, because how many of you have ever found yourself, you thought you were relaxed, but you were tense? Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. And you realize when you try to relax, Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. That is that is iniquity. Mm, right. Because the opposite of iniquity is equity. Mm. Interesting. And so iniquity tries to get in mm. by coiling itself around. Mm. Right. Wicked means twisted. Mm. Right. So you we're in this room I know and, and if we're online anywhere. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm sure that we're the righteousness of God in Christ, but how many of you know we still have to deal with our mind? Yeah. Renew our mind daily. So we have to deal with the fact that maybe we're allowing too much stuff on us that is not even ours. So the enemy tries to deceive while God is trying to conceive. So wicked, as we said, is twisted, full of burdensome labor. And it, look at this, endless questions. People strive about to endless questions. Now, I know this isn't shouting territory tonight, but how many of you believe this is it necessary? Really is. I'm it is. <laughs> okay. The more you talk, the more like, what in the world? Amen. This is the reason we're here. Yeah. Praise oh, God. Amen. 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 How many of you are thankful for that? Let's give yeah. God amen. praise. Amen. 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 So endless questions that really have no answers because it wasn't birthed by God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ulterior motives fed by hidden agendas. How, how much have we fell, fallen prey to that because we thought we had to get involved? In fact, uh, it says that that an evil or a wicked and adulterous generation, adulterous there you see, is of course a harlot for pleasure. You say, well, that's not me. But it involves self-centeredness. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're not seed or next generation motivated. In other words, anything the enemy can get you to do to dwell on what's going on right now. He's trying to negate the seed of your next level. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he can't take it. He can't. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Amen. <laughs> he can't See, we didn't need to be online. This is all for you guys. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Every single thing you are saying, we have talked like, what? Oh my God. I'm mind blown. Yeah. <laughs> I really am. Yeah. Amen. Praise wow. God. Praise God. Wow. Yes. Now. Thank you. <laughs> this is the scripture. I won't tell you how uh, I got up three hours on this, but but I can tell you this that I'm going to tell you what I know. In Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses seven and eight, for the mystery of iniquity. What is that? Iniquity is lawlessness and pervertedness. God gives you a, a promise. The enemy tries to pervert it. God says, this is where I've gifted you. The enemy tries to make it look the exact opposite. Mm. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is what I want you to do. The enemy tries to make it look like you can't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's you, We think of perverse as just something sexual. Mm -hmm. But it can also be perverting the yeah. truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. To try to make you think, wait, no, this is the way it really is. Don't you dare try to do that. Mm. So... Uh, Adulteress is, of course, harlot for pleasure, meaning no concern about the seed whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Infidelity, self-centered, not seed or next generation minded. Mm -hmm. The enemy wants us to think there is no tomorrow. And it's all about you. Mm -hmm. And it's right about now. what you can get today. Mm -hmm. right now. Right. Preserve right. yourself right. today. Right. Mm -hmm. And God says, no, it's all about tomorrow. You know, I'm going to say this. I know what they mean when they say this, but I don't. I, I, it's another one of my things. Well, you know, tomorrow's promised to no one. 
Well, I think it is. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> How many of you know the Bible's full of promising us tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. No. So I know what they meant. They Every meant, you know, well, you know, any day. You know, but I want to live a full, long life yeah. Yeah. in the promises of God. All right, so this is what I want you to see. <laughs> Help me do this, Jesus. The mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth or restrains will let until he be taken or transitioned out of the way. I will tell you openly, I have no idea who is letting or how they will be taken out of the way. I know traditionally that means the rapture. We're all going away and the enemy will be revealed. I don't think that's what this is talking about. I can tell you that. But I can tell you this. The enemy who thought he was so smart keeping his iniquity a mystery or in deception will be exposed. Yes, amen. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. How? Look at this. Then shall that wicked be revealed or exposed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Guess who is the spirit of his mouth? Us. He will consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Again, we have said, yes, thank God he's coming one day. Oh, Jesus, get us out of this wearisome world. How many of you believe he's coming? I believe he's coming. I believe he's coming. But guess what? You are also his coming. It says in James chapter, I'm skipping a little bit. James chapter 5, verses 7 and 8. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the what? Coming of the Lord. See, we've always thought he's doing all the work. He's coming. I'm going to... Take a trip on that gospel ship. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm going to take off on the gospel airplane. Hallelujah. He's coming. Yes, amen. But he's going to meet us. Because we are the coming of the Lord. We are the coming forth of the Lord. We are revealing mysteries that the world didn't even know they had questions to. We are revealing the kingdom of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. So he says, look, how do I know this? Look at what it says. Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. That's an agricultural term. Mm -hmm. Behold the husband when waits for the precious fruit of the earth. <laughs> See, there's stuff going on on the inside of you. Yes. And hath long, what? Patience, patience for it until he receive the early and the latter rain. Mm -hmm. Write this in your notes. Early rain is always teaching. What you take in. Early rain is teaching what you take in. Latter rain is what you give out. Early rain in. Latter rain, what you give. Until he receive the early and the latter rain, be also patient. Establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draws nigh draws out so just in a time when the enemy thought he had people convinced that they just needed to pack their bags and get out of here we are manifesting come on somebody we are revealing mysteries why because it's not about focusing on the devil to expose him it's about focusing on the kingdom of God and becoming lights wow. that will expose the darkness. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh, amen. 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 So he is going to be exposed. I'm telling you, false narratives and hidden agendas will be exposed. Yes. Yes. You're about to see it happen. Oh, amen. Yes. Because God has had enough. Yes. Amen. I'm telling you, he's had enough. Amen. Oh, yeah. amen. He that sits in the heavens shall laugh. And have all that in derision because he says guess what I have not moved one inch from my throne 
I have not moved one inch yeah, from what I purposed in you. Yeah. I have Amen. not moved one inch from what I'm revealing through yes. you. What I said I will do, I will do. He that begun a good work, work yes. in you shall perform Amen. it. Hallelujah. Amen. And you just got to let the mystery come forth. Come Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because our outlook depends on our insight. Amen. Amen. That's why the enemy's after your insight. He can't get to it unless you let him. Amen. By the way, how many of you know we need to stop giving intel out that we should not be talking? Yes. You know, there's there's stuff in, in me right now. I'm telling you, and I know in you too, that I can't wait to tell somebody. And there's even stuff with some people in this room that, that I'm excited for you. I am excited for you, but I can't tell you. <laughs> because God says, it's not about you, Dr. Rick. He doesn't call me Dr. Rick. He says, son. <laughs> son of what? He said, it's, it's about me and them. Amen. So if I give, he says, if I allow you to release it, it's because it's time. Mm-hmm. You know, those commercials on TV, act now. <laughs> Call the number now, 555-5555. You know, you must act now. We must act now. People act like that's the way we got to be in the kingdom. We got to do something. We got to do something. <laughs> well, you don't even know who you are. Why are you going to be doing something? <laughs> you know, let's get to know who we are in Him. Because guess what? You know what? I'm going to move at God's pace. Yeah. And He's not anxious for anything. Amen. Yeah, I like that. My outlook depends on my insight, not my onlook. <laughs> My insight determines my outlook. So insight is where the wisdom is. It even goes past knowledge and goes down deep into the belly where the birthing is. How many of you know the scripture in Psalm? It says, deep calleth unto deep. At the noise of thy water spouts. You know what water spouts are? They're birthing, birthing places. So God is birthing greater vision in you, even in the midst of what they're calling all these things. But we've got to have the insight that refuses to have an onlook. But says, wait a minute, it's based on it. He said it, it's done. Because I carry a mystery. I'm called a steward. Amen? Amen. So Colossians 1.27 says, To whom God would make known... What is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles? What is it? Christ in you, the hope of glory. If we would just stop looking to signs and wonders. I mean, if you know signs will follow you. There are a lot of people worshiping the billboard, but not reading what it says. And so we've had whole movements that started because of a miracle. And that was wonderful. But God said, I was saying something in the midst of the miracle. The miracle is really the way it is every day in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. But you just got a snapshot. But I wanted you to investigate deeper. I want you to find some mysteries that I want to reveal. So I I really believe tonight we needed to, even though this is uh, necessary and evidently very exciting, (laughs) <laughs> but we needed wow. to understand that there's a mystery of iniquity that's trying to wrap itself around mm-hmm. us only because we are about to discover a mystery of the kingdom that was there before you were born. And the only reason why that mystery of iniquity is trying to coil itself around and become a burden that you think you got to deal with is because 
it is directly connected to the mystery of the kingdom that God is about to bring through. Amen. 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 <laughs> so we don't have to turn off any cameras, I guess, because now we're just going right into. What about the people that needed to pass the exam? Because I'm going to go on and tell them I'm going to do a whole recording tomorrow for them. Oh well. Oh, I, I need to do mine too. My exam for last class. You talking yes. about? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let's. That, he kept the I'm video. recording you. Oh, you are. Hi. So he's not recording. <laughs> he has been recording it. So okay. You can take that or. Yeah, I'll see what we can do with that. I can send it to you. Oh, would you send it to me? Yeah. Do you want to cancel? (laughs) (laughs) You want me to comment? No. (laughs) Okay, come on. Let's talk to me. What what are we getting out of this? I had a lot of distraction, but we made it. By the way, to the king. Amen. To the king. To the king. Oh, to the king. To the king.